Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we are going to be talking about scalar product of two vectors. Now vectors are pretty interesting, you know, their multiplication of vectors can actually take two turns. So first type of first type of multiplication of vectors is actually the scalar product of two vectors. So let's go ahead and got, get started guys. Now this is something which is also called as the dot product, right? It's also called as the scalar product as well as it's also called as the dot product of two vectors. Now to start that I'm actually going to assume two different vectors. Let's suppose this is the vector plane and let's suppose we have two vectors. This is one vector and this is one vector. Let's say this is vector v and this is vector u. Step one would be to actually have them, you know, have both the vectors the same original point or let's say they should have the same initial point. So for scalar products, for scalar multiplication to happen, both the vectors should have the same initial point, which means I'm actually going to redraw kind of a vector u like this here. So I'm going to call this as vector v rather than this as vector v and understand this means the same thing because it has the same magnitude and it has the same direction. So they should have the same initial point. And the angle to angle between two vectors, let's say we call that angle equal to theta. Okay, so let's suppose we say that theta is the angle between two vectors. Now, for me to have a scalar multiplication, see for scalar multiplication, uh, because what we need to do is we need to yield a scalar product for the multiplication of two vectors. They have to have the same direction, isn't it? So they have to have the same direction. So what do we do here? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pretend a 90 degree angle from here like this. And if this is V and this is theta, this vector is actually going to be equal to V cos theta. Because if you have this as vector V and this is theta, and let's suppose this is x, then cos theta is actually going to be equal to base over hypotenuse. That means base is going to be equal to v cos theta. That means v cos theta and u are in the same direction, isn't it? So v cos theta and u are in the same direction. Now, so that means the scalar product or the dot product. So this is how we represent dot product. We say u dot v is actually equal to the magnitude of u into the magnitude of v into cos theta. Right? Because if you want to multiply, you're going to multiply their magnitudes, right? But you have to include this cos theta because so that this v comes into the same direction as u and this is a scalar quantity. This is not a vector quantity. This is a scalar quantity, which means it does not have any direction. All it has is a magnitude. So just to summarize what I just did here, I said that if you have two vectors, uh, vector v and vector u, let's suppose this is vector v and this is vector u, right? The dot product of these two vectors, the dot product of these two vectors, which is represented as a u dot v is equal to the magnitude of u into the magnitude of v into cos theta. Why do we do cos theta? Because we want u and v to actually have the same direction. So v cos theta, this is the theta that is the angle between them, actually gives us uh, the direction of v cos theta is equal into the direction of u. Now let's see some, uh, you know, some some of the important consequences of this geometric definition of scalar pro of the scalar product, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So what are the some important points for the dot product? So first of all, uh, the product. Let's suppose if I say that u dot v is actually equal to magnitude of u into magnitude of v into cos theta. Point number one is that this it's always a scalar quantity. The product is always a scalar quantity. That is uh, something that we know. Another thing is that if theta is 90 degrees, that means cos theta is actually equal to 
means cos 90 is actually equal to 0 which means that if two vectors are 90 degrees to each other then their dot product equals 0 right so if two vectors are at 90 degrees to each other their dot product equals 0 fine another property would be that if two vectors if two vectors are parallel to each other right that means if two vectors are parallel to each other that means the angle between them is 0 which means cos of 0 is 1 that means the dot product of two vectors would simply be the scalar multiplication of their magnitudes fine so that is what is going to be and plus it can either be plus or it can either be minus uh, because uh, you know what if two vectors are completely parallel to each other like this or what if they're parallel to each other like this in this case these you know the sum of the magnitude can actually turn out the u into v can actually turn out to be negative so you'll just have to you know take care of the sign well that's not going to happen because uh, you're always going to take magnitude to be positive and you should always take the the product to be positive let's move forward to the fourth point so the fourth point says that uh, again you if you find the dot product of the vector with itself it's just the square of its magnitude you know that is something which is very very easy fine now uh, another thing is that if the angle is acute so if theta is acute uh, acute means that if theta is actually less than 90 degrees fine so if theta is less than if theta is acute that means theta is less than 90 degrees then obviously cos theta would be positive right so cos theta would be greater than 0 because cos is something which is uh, positive whenever less than 90 and if theta is not acute let's suppose if theta is obtuse that means that theta is greater than 90 degrees then cos theta would actually be less than 0 because cos theta is negative in the second quadrant that means if theta is acute then the dot product is actually going to be positive and if theta is obtuse then the dot product is going to be negative fine so if theta is acute then the dot product is going to be positive and if theta is obtuse then the dot product is going to be negative so if i say there are two vectors this is vector v and this is vector u and this is 70 degrees then the dot product is going to be positive and this is vector v and this is vector u and this is like 100 degrees then the dot product is going to be negative so that's there now let's go ahead and see this question here guys so this question over here says that uh, just a second so the question over here says that find the scalar product of two vectors given that the magnitude of u is equal to 2 the magnitude of v is equal to 3 and the angle between them is 60 that means uh, the the vectors the dot product is actually going to be equal to uh, u into v into cos 60 which means that is going to be equal to 2 into 3 into cos 60 now what is cos 60 guys cos 60 is nothing but which is uh, sine 30 which is equal to 1 over 2 so the answer is going to be equal to 3 another thing that you have to understand is that u dot v is actually equal to v dot u this is something which is going to hold true all the time so you can even verify it using examples this is going to come through all the time so even if you do u dot v or even if you, even if you do v dot u it's going to come out to be the same thing fine another thing is that if you have a scalar multiple let's say lambda u dot v is actually going to be equal you can actually take the scalar multiple out like this fine so this is actually all going to be true all the time so if you have a scalar multiple multiplied to a vector and you would actually find the dot finding the dot product of it with another vector you can actually take the scalar multiple out and first find the dot product and then multiply the scalar multiple with both of them fine so that means for example 2u dot v would, e would be equal to 2 into u dot v fine so let's take up another example for this so let's say this question over here says that uh, uh, consider the unit square so unit square means that the square has the side of one and uh, it has a diagonal what is the diagonal of a square diagonal of a square is actually equal to square root two into side right 
So the diagonal of the square is going to be square root 2 into 1, which is actually going to be square root 2. And uh, OA, OA is actually going to be half the diagonal, which is square root 2 over 2. So this is going to be half the diagonal, which is square root 2 over 2. And the question says find the dot product of AO dot AB. That's going to be the magnitude of AO into the magnitude of AB into the angle, cosine of the angle between AO, what is AO and AB? So this angle is going to be 45 degrees because this is a square and square, the diagonals bisect that. So this is going to be 45. So the magnitude of AO, it's going to be, it's actually equal to 1 over square root 2 because you can see that this square root 2 will actually leave 1 square root 2 here. So I'm going to write 1 over square root 2 into AB. AB is actually going to be 1 and uh, cos 45 is actually going to be 1 over square root 2 because that's what cos 45 is. So the answer is going to be equal to 1 over 2. So hope you understood this point here guys. Pretty easy question. Right. So this would be about this video guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, I hope you understood about the dot product. I'm just going to summarize this. So the dot product of two vectors u dot v is actually magnitude of u into magnitude of v into the cosine of angle between them. Some properties are that if the uh, if the angles between two vectors is 90 degrees then the dot product is going to be zero. If the two lines are parallel then the dot product will just be plus or minus their magnitude. If the angle is uh, acute then dot product is going to be positive. If the angle is uh, obtuse then the dot product is actually going to be negative right and u dot v is equal to v dot u and uh, u uh, again lambda u dot v is actually equal to lambda u dot v so these are the properties of the dot product as well that we actually discussed and uh, make sure that you give us your valuable like on this facebook page you explore our website and you give your valuable feedback on this email address. So thank you very much for watching this video guys. I hope this helped you and I'll see you in the next one.